Okay. We've got the knot tied and the needle threaded. We're going to run the needle about an inch over on this side. And we want it to go straight from the front to the back. And I am stitching below for the first run and I will be stitching above for the second run. That's not typically how I do it, but uh, because of the construction of this broom, we do something called improvisation. Around the broom, like I always do, twice. You see this, the twine is sliding down. It's wanting to follow the contour, but once I cinch it up, we'll be in better shape. In the same spot where I started, over the top in front, making sure that I catch that first loop. You can see the first loop is caught there. And draw it all the way through, making sure that I don't tie my hand into the broom. Easier said than done. At this point, if we're going to make an adjustment to rearrange the shoulders, we're going to do it right now. We don't want to wait any longer, and you can do that massaging the broom corner around and positioning it like so. If you wait, you're going to lose it. again. Stitching with a hand clamp is really actually quite nice because you don't have to walk around the clamp, you can just spin the broom around. Because I'm stitching on the opposite side. Yeah, mind that. this thing, isn't it? I can stitch a broom and I have shirts at home with no buttons. stock on there so it doesn't bow. You think the bowing is a problem? Problem? No. Stress is the wood. Makes me fear you're going to get halfway through a broom three years from now and a piece of wood will pop! Mm -hmm. And that's always embarrassing when you're in the middle of a demonstration and your, breath or your press uh, splits in two. And uh, the use of one by, uh, or rather, that's nice to about a half inch, looks like a split down one by, mm -hmm. split down four over four, uh, versus the uh, one by two, the regular, uh, a little bit thin, I think. I find it interesting that you use, is it one? It looks like cherry on one side, one on the other. Yeah, that's that wood from the Delsimer shop. Oh, is this from the Delsimer shop? Yeah. Oh. I never got any pieces that thick from the Delsimer shop. Yeah, they were these big old onion bags.
usually when I do get wood this big, I, I take it back. Now I did get wood this big once for those from the shop, but I usually cut it into quarters and use it for turning crochet hooks. Oh. And knitting needles. Now the last stitch, 